Hey, good afternoon, champs. This is part of our new segment that we call in Teach-In Time. So Teach-In Time is where we're going to discuss one of the important topics that your classroom teachers have already given you instruction on, but it makes sense to talk about it in the whole community so that everybody is following the same directions. So Teach-In Time today is about transitions, specifically about walking through the hallway in a safe way. And so we walk through the hallway in a very specific way at Champlain to make sure that everyone is indeed being safe. And so the first thing that we look for when we're walking through the hallway is our voice volume. And for this very specific thing, we want voice volume to be zero. And so voice volume zero means that you're not talking. The reason being for this is that you are able to hear the directions of the trusted adult that you're with. Uh, the next teach-in option for hallway transitions is walking feet. So we specifically ask that you are walking when you are in the hallway, that you are staying with your class and you're staying with the group using walking feet. The next important feature is eyes facing forward. And with eyes facing forward, you're making sure that you are seeing the person that is in front of you. If you're turned to the side or if you're looking behind you, chances are that you might run into somebody if they stop in front of you. So our eyes are forward. The next, and this is really specific to 2020 COVID era, and that is to make sure that we're keeping safe spacing. One way to measure your spacing is to actually put your arms out and your arms will show you exactly how far apart it is to be safely away from somebody in this line. This also gives you kind of a buffer zone so that, again, if your eyes are off to the side looking at something, you're giving yourself a little bit of space so you're not walking into somebody in front of you. The next thing, and again, this is a 2020 specific item, is that we are following arrows on the floor. And so your trusted adults are going to keep you walking on pathways that are making sure that we're not having too many people in the hallway at one time. And one way that we do this is by following the arrows. And the last and final important direction when we're making hallway transitions is that we're stopping at intersections. And intersections are places where the hallway kind of ends and you could make a choice as to go in one direction, out a door, or in another direction, maybe up some steps. So we're stopping at the intersections. And most of the time, what will happen when you stop at an intersection is a teacher will give you another direction, like let's go forward, or let's slow down, or let's go to the left, or even better, it's lunchtime. All right, thank you for paying attention to our fun video this afternoon and stay tuned for more Champlain News. Hey, what would you, what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I want to be a A rich fashion designer? You took my answer. All right, Ms. T, what do you want to be when you grow up? When I grow up, I want to have a dog to take care. All right, all right, very cool. Hey, hey Ryder, what do you want to be when you grow up? And now for the weather. High temperature, 54. Low temperature, 48. And the sunset, uh, 40, no, 4, 35 p.m. Thank you very much. And that was your weather brought to you by Shania and Nora. Back to you. And now for current events. So Mary, what are your thoughts on the election? Good point. Good point. Yeah. All right. And Aiden, what do you think? What's going on with the election? 
even if they do have different beliefs, they shouldn't like change their perspectives on other people and things just because of their beliefs. And also, uh, like sometimes when you're like saying something about a, someone you don't like and someone else likes that person, it's like rude to them. So that's also doing that thing. Awesome. Thank you very much. And this was current events. As always, champs, remember to be kind, be safe, and always do your best. Have a great day.